I saw you both tearing up to scribe with this As you can see behind me, this is the bottom of the river. It's completely flooded into the street. And this is just one of several in Asheville that are closed to the people that I spoke to today. Telling you about the end of the rain. Now, Here is what we were doing with where them. Earlier where this evening, a lot of this is just a lot of people that were in the street. It started off with a burial of the building, but they say if they had been outside of their car, there was a picnic table that was thrown through their front windshield that they could have been hit by. So there are a lot of miraculous stories of this as well. I'm not sure if you're hearing this, at least 15 people were injured or four of them. So it's it's so it's critical today. injuries, so you are really so helping them through the bunker room, but please, a lot of people are just worshiping with family members right now, making sure that they're okay. This is the first time that they're actually getting to be with their family members right now. So um, it's, it's a story of just hope, of thankfulness, but also of just complete emotion as, as they're seeing what other people had to go through with all of this. And into Sunday. It's not really moving much. It kind of slows down and we East Georgia, eastern portions of Tennessee. It was a monster roaring through Florida. So we have power. <laughs> hope it just hope it don't let them let get another storm come. Hopefully. Off of the inner storm coming. Mm -hmm. Right in Florida. Yes, we should watch for tropics. If there's a hurricane down there, we'll help it put handles on the windows, put it on the doors. Pair of power outages. Remember, if the damp powers are down, do not pick it up. That will kill you. Mm -hmm. Power truck. Do that. Do not touch the down power lines. That will kill you. This is it. 